don't you go down here and get Frank out right quick on the 630 here what I'm gonna do this time is is I've got him loaded with uh, logs hardwood logs solid loads so there's nothing hanging off the back of the trailer and rather than pulling him we've talked about it and I'm gonna I'm just gonna get behind him since there's nothing back there and just get on the bumper and push him up that hill we'll see how this works it usually works pretty good too as long as you got something to push on back there you can't push on like pole wood stuff like that unless you cut them all off the same exactly the same and just don't want to do anything but he's binding it right now as soon as he gets done binding he will holler that he's ready to go and we're gonna go up that hill i'm gonna get up here and go ahead and get on him so he's walking toward the truck now he's probably about ready this may be a little tricky i may have to put the camera down or something real quick because I'm going to have to work this blade. I hope I can just stay straight. All right, here we go. All right, I'm up against him. And I'm just going to hold it wide open. I told him to get in the gear he need to be in, and we were going to go. Y'all see that tree right there in the middle? See that cable's not even touching it. And that's what happens a lot of times. These short ones aren't hardly gonna slide and they're dry too, a little bit. So there's no slick on them like some of these other trees. Look at the dust. I wish we could do that with every one of them instead of hooking to them, man. It'd be so much easier. But that pulp and those pine logs, you've got a uh, lot of overhang on them. Beats the heck out of hooking that cable every time. So this is how you run this, this is how you steer it. This is your steering wheel right here. Steer. Come on out. Coming steering out. stick this is this way's right and, and that way's left and this is your forward reverse all the way up is forward and all the way back is reverse and that's your ground speed limiter so if you got it all the way up like that right there and you hold it down it'll run as fast as the machine will run or you can limit it by pulling it back so you hold it wide open that's as fast as it'll run right there all the way down or you can push it up and it'll go to wide open right there, which is this speed. And then every bit of this over here works your works your grapple and your boom. And then you got a throttle right there too if you if you want it. So like I said, uh, it also locks your front end or your thing positive traction. And uh, see it I just locked it right there. And that green and now I unlocked it so that works that all your grapple so this works your boom the stick right there works your boom and this works your blade and then you got the winch control your lights you can lock either the front and the rear end or you can lock just the back end or you can lock just the front end on this machine is the way that it works in your HVAC controls over there too I mean it's pretty simple to run she's a it's a big machine so we're gonna come back up on the hill I'm gonna back back up here and park, jump back in my loader again, and kind of keep the pile tidied up for Kevin until another truck comes in and I'll load it. 
yesterday i probably got up and down out of my loader probably 20 times oh this is another cool thing all right so you're sitting like this forward okay there's a little thing down here by my foot that thing down there i can kick it and this whole seat spins around and you see that you got a, a throttle and a brake right there and when you do that your control swap too so when you're looking backwards your right goes to the right and your left goes to the left so it knows when you switch that seat to switch the steering on it all of this still works the same it doesn't none of that none of that stuff changes so the, if the machine is locked down when you're not on the the beauty of these is is when you're not on the throttle this machine locks down so it's locked right now all you do to unlock it is you just touch the gas and it and then it locks and then when you hit any control you hear that it goes wide open for you so that you don't have to hold the brake and hit the gas like you did on the older gear on the older deer, deer machines so you can work this machine up a hill or out of a wet spot a lot easier than the uh like the 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 g the e machines the d machines the h's and all of them the l's i've never driven an l so i don't know how they work i think they work they're very comparable to the tiger cat right here but you hear it it goes wide open anything you do it goes wide open for you even when you when you hit the blade so having a seat that turns around backwards man you you can drive it backwards or you can drive it forward it does not matter and uh it's it's cool it makes it a lot easier on you as an operator not having to turn around backwards all the freaking time so that's pretty cool that door is heavy as heck all these machines have very heavy doors so that they don't get caved in on you in case you flip them over and which is a good thing but if you do flip one of these machines over it dang near takes two people somebody on the outside have to hold the door up while you crawl out of it because you can't hardly get out of it by yourself so that's how you run a tucker cat skitter right there well i got two to get out now i'm gonna have to pull both of these it's danny and scott here these are uh both of those trucks have 475 caterpillars in them and they both have lockers in both of them also one has a nine speed the other one has a 10 speed let me get on up in here they have 40,000 pound rears in both of those trucks and they're the i don't know exactly what they are i don't keep up with all of our trucks that's dad's deal but they're not like a normal 40 you know they're a little bit more beefier or something they call them a super four i don't i don't know whatever i say is gonna be wrong so they got those and then we have uh two other trucks that have 46,000 rears up under them and they got they both have 18 speeds in them and they have 475s also and then we have another one that has lockers and it has 46,000 pound rears and a 475 in it it is a uh mm, i think it's a 2006 model is what it we bought it new and in that truck that my dad drives it has a 435 in it we have a couple that have 435s in them they're uh 96 models get uh getting hooked up here i'm just holding the camera i ain't got time to uh winch release there for him maybe pull it pull it over there you go danny's got a pull of muscle right now so he's going to be careful you 
get it hooked up and then we're gonna, I'm gonna carry him up the hill. So I couldn't film that and wrestle and cuss all at the same time. We winch him in a little bit. All right, let's go. Danny and Scott, you don't even have to talk to them and they don't have to talk to you. They're like my dad. They just know what to do. Boom in some. We got to cross the culvert. Deep ditch right there. Happy Monday, that cable. And the eyes, uh, look at that. See that? Didn't even have to talk to me. Just like old times. See, I'm running it backwards now. The so Scott's sitting right there. sure when when they whoever built this road back in the day decided that they would just go straight up the hill normally they're not like this they're like cut in the side of the hill a little bit where they're not just straight up but that's not the case on this one see there's a truck right there they uh they cut it went straight up the hill This guy's gonna take that and all. <laughs> or he flipped it around is what he did. Or they getting a bigger eye. He was smart. Okay. We're gonna set that winch. I'll roll it up some. Once he gets done. There he goes. Okay. Let's roll her up some. Seven liter FPT engine is what this machine has in it. You know, by the way, the air conditioner is not working right now, so I am perspiring pretty good.
go back and get my loader again now. Got two more to get out. <laughs> it's like loading a dump truck with an excavator and loading and hauling it yourself. This is a contract truck right here. It's one of Mr. Tommy Eskridge's trucks. He's a has a bunch of log trucks. He's a trucking business in Vernon. There's one of ours. That's one of the ones that's got the 475. It's got the 46,000 rears and the 18 speed in it. That's one of them. Jump up in the old Tiger Kitty right here, real quick. Let Anthony hook it up. There. Wind her up a little bit. All right. Everything's set. that boom back here right quick I just snatched that front end of that truck about three foot off the ground right there. See, I have a mirror right there, right there, and right there that I can look in. And uh, he thought, he thought I was about to stop, and so he let off of it, and I wasn't about to stop yet. And when he did, Them trucks are tough. Let go of it, Anthony. Let go. Get that winch engaged right there. Come on. I'm not used to that hesitation on that winch. I guess it's because it's got a center pressure back there to it. I don't know, but uh, I'm not used to that hesitation. It's like on a John Deere, when you activate it, it's going. And this in here, it takes it, it's just a little bit before it starts spooling on you. And we're going to go back down here and get... Let's see, let's spin the seat around. We'll go down here and get Rough Rider. You see the red rocket right there. Let's see. I may have to jump out and help him. All right. See, uh, I'm gonna sit right here and see how he does and I'll jump out if I got to. Cause those pins are a little bit tough. get through those eyes. Alright, here we go. Go get him. I 
tell you what, getting up and down out of these machines bunches of times, it will wear your tail out. Big time. I've never pulled a rough rider here, but he knows he knows what to do. Yeah, he got it going. We're just easing right up to hill. jump down help him get it get that pin out we got we need to do something different on what, the way that we're pulling these things I think there's a snake laying right there in the road all of those trucks right there they'll pull too well they're built they're he gets it. Oh man, let's go back over here and get back on my loader.